Hello guys and very welcome to another episode from Flying Tools. And today I am going to prepare the firewall for sandblasting on my Volkswagen Golf City Struber. So here we go. It's a wonderful morning outside. This is life. All right, guys, let's go on with the city streamer. And by the way, this black stuff that you see here, uh, that is actually wax. But now it uh, has a lot of dirt on it, so that's why it looks a little black or <laughs> very dirty. So I will try to remove that later on, of course. So it's important to remove all of those small stuff before I sandblast it, because those will be destroyed. And it will not look good at all to have those painted at the same time as the car. So therefore I remove everything here. So it will look pretty nice and uh, hopefully like it uh, did when it left the factory. And here is the vacuum tank and I am planning to remove that. But I think that I have to remove the the fenders first. And here am I welding all the holes that the previous owner has done to the engine bay. So it's good to have that done before I sandblast everything.
And here is a last overview of the engine bay before it's sandblasted and painted with primer. So it's Friday today and I am free from work and I woke up and was wondering what am I going to do here? Am I going to buy me a sandblasting tool or am I going to just by a chance call that company that actually do that for a living and ask them if they have time today? Normally that's never going to happen but he told me that yes you can be here at noon today then you can just wait here and we do that sandblasting for you. And I was so surprised, but also very happy. So first of all, I had to loan a car from my friend. And then I had to rent this trailer. And then I had to load everything in just a few hours there. So, uh, well, it has been a pretty intense morning, I have to say that. But now I am on my way. And uh, as you can see here, we have a beautiful morning with some snow on the road. So it's... Uh, uh, pretty slippery, but I have of course winter tires on both the trailer and the car here, so I think that uh, it will work out just fine. And I will of course ask this company if I am allowed to do any videoing. I'm not sure if that is going to happen, but uh, anyway, I'm going to film everything afterwards anyway. So here I am waiting on a car parking lot and sadly I could not be with them to do some videoing but it's perfectly fine. I mean I have to understand that uh, they don't want to have some guy that just film everything that uh, they are doing. So uh, now I just have to wait and uh, the guy there will call me when the city streamer are sandblasted. I am almost a little nervous. And I am that for a good reason, because uh, actually the first car I uh, did some serious uh, rebuilt on was completely destroyed. I had to work for, I think it was around two months before it looked straight again. They were actually sandblasting the car with uh, steel grains. So I could see the grain marks on the other side of the metal that they just blasted. So I have my reasons to be a little nervous. All right, just wait for it. It's now uh, three hours later and uh, you have just texted me that the car is uh, ready to pick up. And I also got some pictures and uh, I'm not really sure what to say, I have to see it in real life, but uh, the sandblasting seems to be really good, but there is a lot of paint over the old paint that not are uh, sanded, so uh, 
I think that I have a lot of work to do with that. I am a little disappointed if it is so, let's hope not. But I know that it is a lot of wax from the factory there that Volkswagen put on and uh, I actually can see some of that wax through that paint. So I think that um, they have just sandblasted that area a little more actually that uh, I asked them to do. But uh, they have painted the whole uh, engine bay there. So that's not what I asked for. I don't want to complain or anything, but I mean, if you paint over surfaces that are not cleaned very well and sanded, well, that paint are sooner or later going to peel off. So that's not good at all, but uh, as I said there, I have to see it in real life first, before I say anything more. So here I am, home again. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice when you look at it like this. So what I now need to do is that I have to remove the paint over this area here because you can see that they have painted over this dirty stuff. So everything over here and also the whole firewall here has been uh, completely free from dirt and paint. So that's perfectly fine, but here you can see especially on this side that we have some wax and uh, a lot of dirt underneath the paint here so that's what i am going to do now and we have minus 11 degrees centigrade outside so it's really cold but the good thing is that the paint don't harden so fast <laughs> so let's do some cleaning now so here i have some really strong thinner that i am using for this But sadly, the paint had already started to harden pretty good, so it was really hard to remove all of this paint here. But finally, I was able to have it removed and uh, I used the heat pressure washer so I could remove all of this old wax that was in the engine bay here. And I have to say that it turned out pretty good, actually. It was not so easy to both wash and film this, but uh, anyway, I had it done. So here is the end result and uh, I have to say that I am pretty pleased with it. So now I just have to sand everything and uh, then it will be uh, ready for some paint. This will be everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, please consider to subscribe if you would like to see more of this content. And to all of you guys who already have subscribed, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. All right, take care and I really hope I see you next time. Goodbye.